to learn about circumferences or perimeters of arcs and sectors. And when we're talking about arcs, we're going to look at circumference. And when we're going to look at perimeter, we're going to consider the shape sector. So let's go back a few steps. Things you should know very quickly already. You have a circle. Now, if you don't know what that is, try a different video. We, you should know that that's a circle. And we have the total revolution equals 360 degrees of angle. And in the circle down here, we can put some lines in. That one that goes through the center is called the diameter, which we often describe using the symbol D. There's another line that we can put in. It connects the center through to the circumference. So there's that word again, circumference. Circ circumference is the uh, outside boundary the line, the curve that goes right around, and that's the radius. So the radius goes from the center to the outside, the diameter goes right through from circumference to the other side of the circumference. They both go through or touch the center of the circle. So we know all about that. And hopefully you've seen in the past that for a full circle, circumference or capital C is pi multiplied by d, the diameter. Okay, now that actually ties in with the definition of pi. Pi is a number that describes the connection between the diameter and the circumference. There's pi of these diameters that will wrap around to make a full circumference. And it's approximately 3.14, but it's not exactly that. So circumference is pi multiplied by d. Now we know that d equals 2r because two of those radiuses will make the diameter and therefore we can also write instead of pi times d we can write pi times 2r bringing that down there whoops sorry that should be an r let me modify that 2r and you'll see actually that written as 2 times pi times r or 2 pi r so pi d and 2 pi r are the same. They describe the circumference, the curved boundary, the distance around the outside of a circle. So for a semicircle, if we uh, just sketch one in here, the arc length, now that's an arc. If it's not a full circumference, it's an arc. So that, that arc, let's assume it's a semicircle. And so the circumference of that arc would be half of 2 pi r which is just pi times r. Okay, so that's an example of an arc. So let's look at another example over the other side here. We've got this arc here. And let's suppose that we have um, an angle of, from the start to the end of 120 degrees. Now this one back over here would have been 180 degrees because it's half of a full circle, half of 360. So this one, is 120 degrees okay so 180 there 120 there all right so we we need to work out a way of finding the circumference of this part of a circle or, or this arc length so another way of describing this is an arc length so uh, you can say you can talk about circumference or to be more precise arc length all right so we need to look at uh, we can use C or A for arc length. A is a bit confusing because you don't want to get it confused with area, so use AL. But let's just use C for circumference. Okay, I'm fine with that. So the circumference for something like this one here is we got a fraction of a full circle. Now, we have 360 degrees in a full circle, so we have 120 out of 360. And the rest of it is the same as what we've got here, times 2 times pi times r. Now let's suppose we're given the uh, radius of this one. Let's suppose that it's 3 metres. Okay, um, That makes our calculation easy. So it's 120 out of 360 times 2 times pi times r. And in this case, r is equal to 3. So we've got 120 over 360 times, now I'm going to put all these over 1, 
2 pi times 3 over 1 because it's fractions and that comes out to 2 uh, the 3's cancel out so we just have uh, 2 pi okay or if you need a decimal that's approximately 6.28 meters all right so remember when we're timesing fractions we times the numerators together and then we times the denominators together okay so or you can just enter all of that carefully into your calculator if you're a little bit still a little bit nervous with fractions but fractions numerators denominators together that comes as 2 pi over 1 once you reduce it down or just 2 pi and approximately 6.28 is a decimal okay let's say we've got this down here now this one is actually not an arc length it actually includes these sides as well because we didn't include the sides there so we're including these sides here and that's called a sector okay so this one here is called a sector and it includes the radiuses let's stick to the same dimensions all right so we still have 120 degrees and we still have three meters okay for the radius so in fact the radius whoops the radius is there twice three meters on each so what we have to do it's actually this distance that we found plus that, that and that all right so if we filled that in there we'd have the same thing so really we've got sector um, the perimeter so when we get to sector we need to talk about the perimeter so perimeter equals so 120 over 360 times 2 pi times 3 now we've got to add on 3 plus 3 so we go plus 3 plus 3 or add six we could have said two times three okay and we just really just have to add six onto that and that's 12.28 meters so um, in general we say it's theta over 360 times 2 pi r all right that's what we do in general for the arc length for the circumference that theta means the given angle you need to be given an angle there okay and uh, the only difference between that and the perimeter is that we have to add on 2p all right so it's 1p uh, sorry 2r I should say we have to add on 2r two radiuses there's one radius and there's the other so that's how we find the arc length for uh, an arc and the perimeter for a sector